Welcome to CERN, home of the world's largest particle collider and the workplace of physicists like Maria Gironi. Roughly 14 billion years ago, the Big Bang created the universe, the existence of time, solar systems like Earth's. And even life itself. That's correct. Today, physicists at CERN are recreating conditions similar to those just after the Big Bang in hopes of answering the many mysteries of the universe. CERN is very well known in the past years for the discovery of the Higgs boson. This discovery led to a Nobel Prize for Francois Englert and Peter Higgs. And it's all thanks to the Large Hadron Collider, the largest machine on Earth. But wait, what exactly does a particle collider do? Imagine that the particles are tennis balls. And those tennis balls are launched at near the speed of light from one side of the galaxy before colliding into more tennis balls coming from the other side of the galaxy. This creates conditions similar to those of the Big Bang. The results of particle collisions are studied in experiments like the CMS. This is the CMS experiment. The data it gathers helps scientists in their search for things like extra dimensions, dark matter, and new particles like the Higgs. There's a lot of unanswered questions that still remain unknown to us. So they turned up the beam, increasing the number of collisions. Billions of collisions happen each second, which generate a huge amount of data. That huge amount of data needs to be processed and fast. Before it's lost forever. This is Steve Palowski from Micron. Micron and CERN are working together in a public-private partnership called CERN Open Lab. CERN is testing Micron's Deep Learning Accelerator to help filter through billions of particle collisions in real time. What we really want to do is find the data that looks interesting and peculiar and downright different than what anybody has seen before. Some of the greatest scientific revelations come from unexpected results. Penicillin, the microwave chocolate chip cookies were an accidental invention. The CMS experiment was one of the two experiments which discovered the Higgs boson. Who knows what we will find next? 